Well, we talked a lot. People always talk about sleepers and stuff. My sleeper's actually coming through. Uh, James Madison, Sanford covered last night, but I said James Madison would beat Wisconsin outright, and they're going to beat Duke. I'm picking them to be. I said this uh, on Mayo show. I said it on all the shows through the week. I got James mm-hmm. Madison making it through to the Sweet 16. They're going to beat the Duke Blue Devils, I believe, after they finish this game off. It's 70 to 59 right now with a minute 05 left. They're on the free throw line. We're moving in on our in game bet at 131 and a half here as they just hit 130. But until until we've won the bet, man, it, it ain't, you know, until until I can see the check mark and the money. It's not mm-hmm. a win. Wow, Utah State actually. TCU went on a run and cut the lead to like three or four. Now Utah State have just popped it back up to eight. It's 57-49 right now for the Utah State Aggies. The total is uh, 161 and a half in game. Should be a, a frantic finish of this game. And it should be noted, TCU already have committed four fouls. Utah State only have two fouls. So eventually here, Utah State's going to be on the free throw line. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about now. It's 72-59. Come on, man. Like, Wisconsin aren't fouling Rick. now. Nope. Wisconsin aren't You're fouling right. now because they they don't care. And we're stuck at 131. I need another half a point here. And Wisconsin might not even try to score after this. That's a foul. Good. How the hell's that not a foul, ref? Dude. Like, he... <laughs> All right, we got it. One thirty-three, barely. Sweat job. <laughs> you said it, man. None of this stuff, like, never, like, there's no. See, loss, after all that, no nothing. Wow. I needed seven points, Cam, in three minutes, and I only won by half a point. Yeah, because yeah, now because you're ahead of me, they're gonna dribble it out right now. You exactly that little layup won you the bet. Unbelievable. The refs, the refs didn't want to. They were like, "The game's over. We're not. We're not stuck." Yeah, actually, Dude, you're right. The refs- there was a collision. <laughs> there was like, "Bang, buddy, foul." It's like, oh, it's a foul. You knocked them over. The but that's what like- led to the turnover. He picked it up and laid it in. It was like, "Dude, surprise!" The ref didn't tackle the guy going up for the layup. Under, under, under. We can't have it go over. <laughs> good for James Madison. I have them winning two games as well, Marenzi. Good, uh, good sleeper. Not just cover went outright. Very impressive win. Wisconsin's not a bad team. You know what I like about James Madison, too, when you look at them? A lot of these higher seeds are scared. They were confident the whole game. They look like they've been there, done that. They're a very, very astute crew, and I like the way they roll. They're way better than a 12 seed. That's actually disrespecting them. They're good. Oh, yeah, they're a 30-plus win team uh, that's used to winning, and their conference isn't terrible either. One, you know, one team I was a little caught off guard by, you know, it's hit or miss with this stuff. I didn't think, I thought College of Charleston would do a little bit better against Alabama, mm-hmm. but Me too. nobody's, even big time teams wouldn't beat Alabama when Bama's playing like that. They just, they caught lightning in a bottle and they weren't missing their shots uh, tonight. So uh, the Houston Cougars win. The Houston Cougars, of course, uh, win the basketball game and they cover uh, the number and the Excellent. game goes... Uh, Depending on when you bet it, they ended up uh, at um, 132. So they won by 40, 86 to 46. And they were laying 24 points. Soft line right there. Easy mm-hmm. cover for the Houston Cougars. We go uh, 2-0 and in the Cougar game, and we bet it pretty big, laying the 15 in the first half and then laying the 24 in the game. We knew Longwood uh, were – you almost had to feel bad for them getting the Houston Cougars here. But Houston advance one game at a time. So there's two games left right now. There's under 12 minutes left in ticket with TCU and Utah State. It's 62 to 53. With um, and uh, the TCU have been battling and trying to come back. Utah State have done a nice job holding them off here in the second half. They've outscored them 1916 in the second half. The in-game total is currently 165 and a half. I'm on TCU, which I'm in trouble because I laid a couple of points, and I'm on the over. 165 and a, uh, one, what do I got? 162 and a half, I think I got. Yeah, right I got over 162 and a half, and it's 165 and a half uh, right now. They're at 115 points with 12 minutes left. I would expect this game to get pretty crazy. We'll, we'll, and I still believe the TCU are going to go on a run, guys. So if you're looking to jump in game, I think TCU plus five and a half are live here, Kim. 
Uh, I'm on Utah State, but I do bl- agree with you. I think it's going to be really, really tight, but I think I think Utah State holds on to win like a four or four or five point game. I think it's going to get real tight and they win with free throws down the stretch. I'm on Utah State. They've been knocking on the door though all game. Every like I said, they made it. It was like fifty to forty, fifty one forty seven ish. TCU mm-hmm. were going on a run and chipping away, and then Utah State have countered back. Uh, so sixty two fifty three. Tony Finn's going to step up and in a couple of minutes. We'll get you up to date with all the point spreads uh, for the games. And we've we've been going over the Saturday games, but we got some numbers for Sunday popping up here already. But I got to welcome the AM uh, audience here, and I do like. Clemson did beat New Mexico today. Good for them. Baylor going to mess their mess them up, I think. Baylor, four and a half point favorites. Let's roll. Level three has begun. AM affiliate style. The pips, the players, the hustlers, the people that bust them, and everybody else in between. This is Sports Rage. I am Gable Morenci. The madness continues. Uh, there are two games left going on uh, right now on the board. We're under 12 minutes right now. Utah State trying to get it done for the Mountain West. Uh, 62 to 53 leading TCU right now. In-game total is 165 and a half. Utah State are laying five and a half in this game. I think the TCU are going to get back in this thing, and it's going to be a close ending. We're on over 162 and a half already, but I do believe that uh, there's going to be a lot of fouls, and I think this game, um, Utah State are going to get into the 80s. I think both these teams will get into the 80s and or uh, TCU will get to the high 70s. Let's go over the 165 and a half uh, even. They're not going to score 165 points in the Grand Canyon and St. Mary's uh, game. I'll tell you that. 28-27 right now for the Lopes. At the half, in-game total is 124 and a half. It closed at 132. Grand Canyon, we're getting um, five and a half points uh, in this game. They're now getting two and a half points up. Um, up by one, plus 140 on the money line. St. Mary's are minus 170 on the money line. We got point spreads uh, for the games that are coming up, and we got picks for all of Saturday's games. Tony Finn is going to step up and in the Rage Red Cam Stewart. Uh, we'll step up and in as well. We'll get their picks uh, for the weekend action. And looking ahead right now, we've already got point spreads for Sunday's games. Clemson will take on Baylor. Baylor looked great. Clemson looked great in destroying New Mexico today. The Baylor Bears are four and a half point favorites in the basketball game. The total is 145. The defending champion, UConn Huskies, got it done uh, today. And now they're laying 14 points against Northwestern. It survived a wild game against FAU. So UConn are 14 point favorites. Colorado. Colorado are that one team that played in the first four. That advances. Five teams in the last four years have done it. And um, 11 of the last 12 years, we just see it happen all the time. At least one team that plays in a play and wins a game and moves on. Colorado, we're getting three and a half against Marquette. This is Sports Rage. For this NCAA tournament. Ah, that's the movie that we know. When it's winner go home, they love to go home. Tennessee's now in my phony club. They should all get together and drink green tea. Tournament's gonna have a chance. That is a team I'm betting on right now. We are feeling this. You are feeling this at home. The excitement and the atmosphere only on Sports Grid. State game on Saturday against North Carolina that stood out most to me that they not only went on a five day heater like they did in 83 when Valvano took them another six games and they won the national mm-hmm. championship. The committee didn't sit there at the beginning of the week and think that Oregon, New Mexico, NC State, Duquesne, right. like they didn't sit there planning for all those teams to go and win. Pharrell Coast to Coast, only on Sports Grid.
I think JMU is going to knock off Wisconsin. I think JMU, with the way that they can score the ball and spread you out, Wisconsin struggles to defend. They're in the bottom third in defensive efficiency. Iowa State's not going to beat you with offense necessarily. They're just they're just not. Illinois will beat you with offense. I like Illinois. I don't love them enough to beat you, Kyle. You got to guard at some point. Give me Connecticut to make the Final Four. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. Sports Grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning your rebuild in game live all access nobody has been more profitable as a dog than shaka smart team winning back to back road games I, I don't care if they're playing topeka high i i wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever in game live prime time back to back just utterly stinker quarters in game live overtime honestly as, as you sit here and listen watch right now you may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. <laughs> TCU are really starting to upset me right now, but it's done. <laughs> It, it, it is what it is. Like <laughs> that's the best line. Just to start off the show, is like, welcome back. TCU's really starting to upset me. <laughs> that's so that nah, is so nice. That's so I bet, nice because you know, I'm a lot so much, meaner like, than that. Yeah. Uh, Tony Finn steps up and then Cam Stewart in the house. But yeah, I bet so much. I don't get mad at every like. Yeah. You know, I'll get mad at myself for like a minute or two, five minutes, or whatever, yeah. and like I'll move on. But this one's bothering me. Like I'm gonna stop watching it any minute now. They're getting Just, they're, they're pulling down. away. Yeah, thirteen now. They're down. See? They're they're down in the game. Whether you're trailing the game, like they they're on two on ones. They can't convert it. Like they, it's <laughs> like they they they're taking like long twos. That's what like just set me off. I'm like like how stupid are you? Like really? Like I don't understand like why Jamie Dixon like doesn't tell them. Listen, guys, you guys taking like a twenty foot like two point shot. And bricking it really isn't going to get us back in this game. Like, at least just take a three and take a step back. Like, you know, in the modern era, like the two-point shot, I understand. Like, unless you're good at it, don't do it. Right? You know, like I said, they're taking bad looks. They look like New Mexico. They're discombobulated. It's what happens. And uh, instead of hating on these kids from TCU, I should hate on myself for uh, taking them. And I need some points in this game. Let's bring in Tony Finn right now. How you doing, Tony? I'm, I'm in. You kind of look like uh, I feel. You look kind of like, you all right? I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah, like, I'm, I woke up. I never realized. Day. I feel great, man. I've never in my life felt better than I feel right now. I don't want to scare Joe Burrow, but I just realized Joe Burrow is going to look like you when he's old. It's like you look like an older well, Joe Burrow. Looks Joe yeah, yeah, Burrow. He looks like a beaten down Joe. If, yeah, like um, Joe Tony Finn's Joe Burrow. Joe, he's lived Joe in Joe Vegas Burrow for the last 40 so years. 40 years. Can you hear me? Joe Burrow could be so damn oh, lucky. I know. He's, to look I know. He's, he's, he's envious, I know. <laughs> How's your day today, Tony, on with the games? How did you do? Uh, you know, I did I did, I did okay in, in college, but uh, nothing like I really hit. I hit Oklahoma City hard, first half team total uh, and game team total, uh, 63, 123. My numbers, 63 and a half, 123 and a half. Ouch. Betting some NBA on huh? March Madness. He's in Bobby. Uh... These guys, see, Tony does it too, Gabe. He doesn't care. Whatever leaves. I stayed away it. from the NBA tonight. Yeah, I didn't touch it either. I no, thought I, hockey I, listen, if it's, yeah. hockey? 71 56. March Madness? <laughs> uh, 71 56. Utah, Utah State is winning. What's the new in game yeah. total right now? It's slowing down because TCU can't score. It's not that bad. It's 162 and a half, actually. That's exactly what I have. Okay, so the second half has started. Let's switch gears over to the Grand Canyon. St. Mary's game. I tell you what, the antelope stock, that lope stock on the NASDAQ market is going to take off if, if the lopes win this game. Grand Canyon yeah. are winning right now, 34-27. 
as five and a half point underdogs. In game total, 129 and a half. Pretty much right around where it closed. 132 is where it closed. Who did you take in this game, Tony? Are you too busy watching the, the Sixers and the Lakers right now? No. Um, no, I'm not. 68-68 there, just for the record. Well, I played yeah. Grand Canyon. I didn't play. I wanted to play. I didn't, good. Didn't We're play all on the low. Grand Canyon. Good. Very good. I didn't play money line, though. I took the points. I took six points. Me too. Yeah. I think I've got five. You took the money I'm line, too, Gabe? Because I know you're no. playing money line dogs. I just took the points in this game because I worried about St. Mary's. So I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that money line. No, I didn't do the every every game money line dog thing. So how's that going? We've got to check in with that. Pretty good. Well, I could tell you. I could tell you it's doing well, even for the fact. So think about it. It's not Auburn, great. It was $45. Sorry, Kevin. Let me just say, I know after game one, you they didn't work on day one. They, it was a break even day in day one yesterday. But it was like $45. But today, a lot of them bit the bullet today. Auburn lost. Who else lost is a big no. one? Uh, there were so many Auburn, games. There was another one. Yale, the money. See, think about it. If you take Mail Yale money line, it's like winning like six games, right? Like they they were monster <laughs> dogs. Have you heard the strategy, Tony's? A lot of people, it's like a hipster thing to do. Yeah. Take the uh, money uh, line man. underdog in every game. Really? No, in the you know, tournament. Uh, like all the no, way no. through. You got to stand your ground now. You got no, to stand your ground. Game, okay, so look. James Madison oh. just won, but they were only like a five-point underdog, right? That was Fair like enough. plus 240 type thing. Mm-hmm. But they, they, they did, they did win. Um, another, uh, what, who was the other underdog? Um, Yale won. Yale yeah. won. Yeah. So Yale got it done. Dog. I think they were. Uh, I have no a little seven, seven, strategy seven, though. Seven you don't go against teams that are favored by more than like no, twenty-five. No, it was not like working. Houston. Um, n- what? It's true, but that's how you got to do it, though, Kim. You can't hand pick which games. You've got to be all in. Because well, you would say, oh, I don't think Kentucky's Houston's really going to lose. Houston's not going to lose to Longwood. You're just giving money away. I'm sorry, hipsters. you got to have a strategy. <laughs> Keep 20 or under. Well, That's I'm glad simple. I didn't do it. No, there was only two upsets. James Madison and uh, and Yale. They're losing money wow. doing this. It's not working. Yeah, yeah. Yale was a, like a plus 650, 600 to 650 right in that, that range is what they were. I don't know so what they how were. Many exactly. games it wasn't were. that high. How many games were high. there? Yeah. Was it? What yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah. No, was it 650? And what's and what's James Madison plus two forty, so you you're breaking even, big deal. Yeah, yeah you're That's right. You're okay, doing, uh, Yale Yale opened at five plus uh, five seventy five. Gabe, so you've been yeah. five seventy five was the open, but, but I'm showing them closing at six twenty six sixty five six twenty five. It's yeah. not even worth the trouble. This this system sucks. No, 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 no. I, 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 no. I'm with you. Oh, oh, that's why we analyze. I want to say, all right, how's it going? Not well. Yeah. That's no, not going great. I don't You're follow trends. Either. You know what it we is? We don't follow trends. We don't follow There's trends. The only we set really, trends. Yeah, well, the I two don't. big ones were the two loser SEC teams, Kentucky and Auburn. Other than that, yeah. right, those were the two big, like, money ones. That's it, really. Mm-hmm. You yeah. are correct. Like, it sounds like a big upset, James Madison winning 12-5, but it was only a five-point mm-hmm. underdog. It's not, like, it's, it's not, not, not that big of a deal. Guys, I have a 30, suggestion. I think we should take St. Mary's plus two and a half and, and try to middle this game. Well, I'm not in the middling. I want to win big on the way out here. I would say don't do it, but it's St. Mary's. So, you know what, Tony? I don't care about trends or whatever. I do things my way, Neither. and that's what I. I'm that's going right. both sides, and we're going to hit two dogs, and it's going to land in the middle, and that's the way things are going to be. I'm in. You say, but you guys don't can say do that too thing. loud. Don't say that too loud in a, a public restroom, but or a restaurant. <laughs> okay, <Never mind>. Tony. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Guy. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, you, Tony. Great, great advice. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> it's been a good day. Uh, uh, yeah. Thir- uh, thir- uh, listen, yeah. There's nothing yeah. safe. Nothing safe in basketball. I don't care if it's the NBA. I don't it, college, high school, it, the p- playground. No lead is safe. So let's. We got to nurse this Grand Canyon game for another hour and so, or so except crazy. except utah state who really are pulling away 74 58 cool. what did you think tony we got a minute here you're a mountain yeah. west guy what did you think of the mountain yeah. because for the most part the mountain west look we'll be getting punched in the mouth boise state uh eliminated yeah. colorado yeah. state scores 11 points in a freaking half of basketball nevada mm-hmm. blows a big lead against uh against dayton and chokes down the stretch 
SDSU survived today. UAB get the cover. What's your assessment of the uh, the Mountain West? Utah State is well, looking good though. Yeah, I would say that they 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 performed to my what I thought was to be what they would do. Uh, I don't think they were exceptionally bad. Or they exceptionally performed good. to their ability. I think so. Their skill set. You know, there was matches like a that report card. They performed them. to their ability. Yeah. yeah, give them a yeah, you know what a, a D minus, you know, an yeah, F minus or something. You know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used the line this. today, John Wooden. Though, I said someone said, "Ah, oh, they played well." I, I said, "Don't don't confuse uh, activity for achievement." Yeah, <laughs> great line. Like, that is a yeah, great it's like, line. Yeah, you tried. Yeah, yeah. all right, whatever. Yeah. Like you, you sucked. Yeah. Okay, like it you ran around. You took a bunch of bad shots. It was like yeah. we tried, coach. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> it's a John Wooden line. It's a great. Don't line. confuse line. activity for achievement. Great. This great. is a good line. Mm-hmm. The the Pacers are beating the Warriors 119 111 right now. Warriors you know, are, the Pacers look really bad. Uh, they got some problems. Pacers are going to be a load to deal with in the playoffs. For this NCAA tournament. Ah, that's the movie that we know when it's winner go home. They love to go home. Tennessee's now in my phony club. They should all get together and drink green tea. Tournament's gonna have a oh! chance. Oh! Oh! That is a team I'm betting on right now. We are feeling this. You are feeling this at home. The excitement and the atmosphere only on Sports Grid. State game on Saturday against North Carolina that stood out most to me that they not only went on a five day heater like they did in 83 when Valvano took them another six games and they won the national mm-hmm. championship. The committee didn't sit there at the beginning of the week and think that Oregon, New Mexico, NC State, Duquesne, right. like they didn't sit there planning for all those teams to go and win. Pharrell Coast to Coast, only on Sports Grid. I think JMU is going to knock off Wisconsin. I think JMU, with the way that they can score the ball and spread you out, Wisconsin struggles to defend. They're in the bottom third in defensive efficiency. Iowa State's not going to beat you with offense necessarily. They're just they're just not. Illinois will beat you with offense. I like Illinois. I don't love them enough to beat you, Kyle. you got to guard at some point. Give me Connecticut to make the Final Four. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. Sports Grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. There's been a couple of points uh, scored by TCU. 
They're not completely quitting. They're they're kind of screwed, but they're in that nowhere's land where they can't tap out. They're down by 13. There's six minutes left. They need, you know what I mean? They need to get a couple of stops and scores to cut the lead here. But in-game total right now is 168 and a half. 168 and a half. We got the 162 and a half. So I'm on TCU as well. I'd like to get the split and move on. 37-34 Grand Canyon and St. Mary's. Grand Canyon elopes. Have the lead, 15-40 left in the basketball game. Uh, we're at our first four-minute timeout of the half. 127 and a half is the total uh, right now. Updated tournament numbers. Connecticut are down to plus 280 uh, right now to win the championship. Houston are the second choice at plus 550. Purdue are 7-1. to one. Arizona, 11-1. to one. Iowa State getting love now with 14-1. to one. North Carolina, 14-1. to one. Marquette, 18-1. to one. Tennessee Volunteers 18 to 1. Creighton are 20 uh, to 1. So 37 34 St. Mary's. We're in a break right now. Let's uh, jump uh, into the card tomorrow. Uh, we'll get Cam's best bets uh, later on. We'll see who Tony likes right now. I got a bunch of picks for you and a bunch of leagues a little bit later on. Tony, what do you think of Gonzaga and Kansas? I know you follow uh, Kansas basketball extremely closely. What do you think yeah. of the Jayhawks and the Gonzaga game? I had, I think, well, I don't know if I mentioned it to you. Maybe I didn't, but I played pretty heavy and hard against Kansas, um, uh, Sanford. And, oh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't watch the game. I worked through the whole thing, Gabe, Cam. And next thing I knew, we were about, Kansas was up by 20. And I said, well, uh, shoot. And then I turned my head, for, came back, and they were, they were, <laughs> Kansas was up by one. And I said, well, okay. And, <laughs> and, and uh, shoot. I'm, I'm doing shoot. the same, yeah. and I, had, I split it. I, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's not what I wanted to say, but we're, you know, we're, I'm, I'm trying glad to change. You, I'm, I'm glad trying you to be a better person. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm, glad you did. I'm, try, <laughs> I'm trying to be a better person. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I split everything. I took the seven points with with Sanford, and I took money line, and so I break even on it. But I'm back at it again tomorrow, brother. I, I'm I'm on I'm on Gonzaga minus four and a half all day, all day, all Me night. Too. Yeah, and it's not like listen, Sanford are a great offensive team and great yeah, strong work. Yeah. They, they score eighty five points a game, but without being good. stated, I mean, they're terrible defensively. And look, Kansas like terrible. needed a bad call and barely hung on to beat these guys. Good call, it was in the uh, it's in Salt Lake. They were running and gunning. Like Gonzaga went for a walkthrough. These guys like ran a marathon. Like I'd like to know the amount of miles they ran back and forth on that court against Sanford last night. Now they got to they got to turn it around here against Gonzaga. The only you thing what, is, Cam and Tony, man, the, the Kansas Jayhawks. As an underdog, man, four and a half I know. points. But oh, let me wow. bring this to the table as well. Even though Gonzaga's in Washington State in Spokane, they're going to a place that has the same religious style in in Salt Lake. The Gonzaga fans are going to like travel there too with Rock Chalk Jayhawk, right? Are we like, I, no, like let's think about this logically. It's true, no, right? Yeah. They're, like, am I right, Tony, or am I right? The, yes. the Gonzaga here, fans are going to be there too. Hey, I'm telling you, Gabe. No, who cares if Gabe's very, the dogs? There's, there's, there's a few teams what? that travel really well in college basketball. Guess what? Gonzaga yeah, Kansas is one, are of the one of them. That travels really well. It's so are Kansas. Yeah, they both yeah, travel absolutely. well. I'm just saying, even the Salt Lake people who don't have a side will be on Gonzaga's side due to religious uh, beliefs. Yeah, probably so because they, they, if they listen uh, to me and they know that, I've, you know, that's, that's probably true. I, would agree with that. Not, I don't know why you think Salt Lake and Spokane, Washington, have any sort of like connection they do. or beliefs. It's a, they're, they're, no, they're more. It's a more. It's a Jesuit school, right? And it's a Mormon. Like yeah, that's the thing. Like I, Gabe, you know Kelly Olynyk plays for the Raptors. It's the same. It's. Oh. I'm telling. I'm telling you. Oh, man. you're talking to you because they're they're, they're hey, a Jesuit Kelly school. Yes. Night, hey, this ain't Jeopardy. I'm just telling you the facts, Jack. I'm telling. There's going to be a lot. Uh, anyway, I like Gonzaga in the game. I don't want to bring the like religion into it but tony you actually know what i'm where i'm coming from i know i sound insane right yes. now but yeah uh, anybody you. that starts thank talking you. about anybody that starts talking about religion i just agree with them because i'm afraid if i disagree they're gonna start talking religion more no, I, I, I I agree. Agree. anyway anyway let's <laughs> zags sorry gabe kansas didn't impress uh, I agree. last game. i agree i'm gonna bet i'm gonna bet the over 151 like and a half. over too i'm like going over. over going over the number here kansas yeah. want to run and uh, Kansas aren't great defensively either, actually. 
I was actually no. impressed well, Kansas offense. We'll give them credit last night, but I, like I said, it's not like Sanford or some great defensive team, man. Right, so well, Kansas but, is uh, supposed to be. You know able what to Kansas score does well? They shoot free throws. They're very solid at the line with their guys. They're fundamentally sound. So if it's a tight game, you Here, worry here's about the deal. That. With, here's the deal. With, they, they have, they no have better I mean, players Kansas than other has, teams. Like Kansas have, have better depth. recruits than Gonzaga do. They have fl- oh, fewer yes, guys. Yes, and this isn't the best Kansas team, but I'm just stating you can't dismiss the Kansas Jayhawks and like oh, we can't I'm just not. write them off. Oh, no, 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 well, you no, no. you can, but it would probably be a mistake because I've done it and I will do it. Again. <laughs> and and uh, here's the deal: well, I don't you guys aren't selling me on really this. <laughs> Cam Bill, 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 you don't, don't, don't like my religious don't anchor, us. yeah, my pamphlet. No, no. Hey, what, what's not Tony didn't sell me. Stand? What's Tony? What do you? What's your angle, Tony? Like, what's your angle? Oh, I like and I then think... finish this off if... by saying no one's gotten rich betting against Kansas. Exactly. He's like he's selling me both. If Gonzaga, if if they're smart, if Pius, if if. If yep. you're smart, they're going to run because Kansas doesn't have any bench and only depth and at altitude. Like Gabe just said, man, they're gassed. They were gassed in the second half of that game. That's one of the reasons Sanford was able to come back and get close in that game. Uh, tomorrow night, they get gassed against Gonzaga, Gonzaga's depth. It's game, set, match. It's a 20-point 20 20 point margin. and Gonzaga won But, but the point being, Tony, is sorry, game, and I'm going to let you talk, but I want to make one final point. This tournament actually helps teams with a little depth, and they talked about it with Creighton because the breaks are longer. Yeah. If this was regular season stuff, they'd be toast. Yep. But now you get that well, extra you, time you when you have, have a thin team. Right, Tony? Yeah, you have to have depth, though. Kansas has zero depth. They're, they got a four-man ro- a rotation in, this, in, the, in their starting five. Exactly. And that's it. I agree as far as team depth is concerned, as far as, like, with, with the tournament. But there's a difference, like, Tony, there's a difference between not, you know, you don't have to be 10 deep, but at the same point in time, you get into foul trouble. You're in big trouble. Yeah. And Kansas yeah. getting into foul trouble. Like, they don't have enough bodies that can play, right? We've talked yeah. about their lack of bench. I mean, normally they have guys on the bench that are going to the NBA, right? They don't have that yes. now. Um, you know, the next in line type of guys, right? They don't have that. It's always been, yeah, now they you know now it's his turn next year. He's gonna be a big star. And, you know, they they had to bring in Dickinson, right? Which is unlike them, actually. Like, yeah, you know, well, we're gonna bring in the Michigan guy. Guys, Grand Canyon ain't playing around. They're going on a run here right now. They're Grand good. Canyon are up 44 to 34 on St. Mary's with 13 yeah. and a half minutes left. New in-game number right now. Now it's Grand Canyon. That are five and a half and, point favorites. Uh, here's Agreed. the deal. Argue with me. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm right. But I, this is a situation right now where I play in game live and I'm all over Grand Canyon. St. Mary's is not built to come from behind any way, shape, or form. So uh, Grand Canyon can shoot well coached. Uh, and uh, I like them. My, probably what, nine, minus 10 and a half right now? Minus 10 and a half, minus nine and a half, somewhere in there. Maybe more. No, it just Six says minus half. five and a half. Yeah, just moved to six and a half. In game live is five and, and, and a half. half. I'm going to come back to freaking uh, St. Mary's. Oh. Where are you what, shopping? What? Okay, it's I'll tell you what. You know, uh, it's six and a half. Okay, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. Give me. I'll Tony give you, sees uh, things nine. that aren't there. Tony, you give. No, I told so you. You give me. Ten and a, actually, we can't do that on the air. We can't do it on the air. I don't know if I got to speak clearer. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. said now. Grand Canyon are the ones left. Five. They were. They were five and a half point. They were five yeah. and a half point underdogs. Now they're the five and a half point favorites. Moved to six and a half, but you're saying you think Grand Canyon are going to pull away in this game? Yeah. That uh, St. Mary's won't right come back? Now. I got eight and a half right now. What the hell were you yeah, I see six and a half, but it's minus 150. So, yeah, the, 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 the different eight books half, are all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I at? Yeah, oh, you know why? This one is a. Uh, you know they why? Just they just again. scored. They just yeah, scored. Your right. computer, your yeah. line. Tony's right. Your well, li- I got 129 and a half. We Your odds board is uh, is quick, yes. Yeah. Okay. St. Mary's St. Mary's hasn't scored in four minutes uh, time right now. They just called a timeout. Forty six to thirty four for Grand right. Canyon. In game total one twenty seven and a half. All right, Tony. So you said you like uh, Gonzaga uh, tomorrow against uh, Kansas. What about Michigan State and North Carolina? Well, I I would be on I would be on North Carolina here, but. Uh, but I'm, I backed away from Carolina a little bit, just just simply because of what they did in their in their in the last couple of weeks of the season and their post game tournament. Not, not that not that I thought that was a horrible loss, but but you know I played against Michigan State with uh, in the first round. I've heard. And, hold on, Tony. But I've heard other people say that like, about oh how North yeah. Carolina ended the season. They beat Duke 
on like the Saturday night in their last regular season game. They got eliminated in the end, and they lost in the championship game of their tournament. That's right. Like what, yeah. what What am I missing about some big meltdown or letdown that well, NC, it, it, North Carolina had? They again, lost NC State. They did. That's a bad loss. It's a horrible loss, by the way. I don't no know. one cares about the NC conference State tournament pretty games. pretty damn good in their first horrible game, loss. Tony. They, they, they look great. Actually, Ooh. how is it a horrible Texas loss? Track. They don't care about that game. Well, that's that's here's in my opinion, and what I see, what I saw, and what I thought North Carolina. Listen, I believe wholeheartedly North Carolina wanted to win that tournament. I thought they were trying to win that tournament, and I thought they failed miserably. That's just me. So um, I thought it was a bad loss, and it, it and if it's a bad loss in my orbit, you know, I'm going to probably back off a little bit. Uh, and I and if I was going to be on somebody in that room, if I was going to be in that room, it would be Michigan State right now. It's very many. Hmm. Let me change them. <clears throat> You're not listen. You're not alone in your negativity yeah. towards North Carolina. Arizona are actually the ones that are favored to win the region, right? North Carolina, yes. the one yes. seed, but Arizona have shorter odds to win a national championship. They got yeah. people are you know people. It's weird. North Carolina used to be such a popular public team, yeah. and now like people don't want to believe they're good or something like that. But yeah. I don't like. So what? They lost to NC State in that game. Who cares? If you asked, if you asked every player on that team. Would you rather won some stupid, meaningless tournament or beat Duke at Duke? Sports is going to have you covered for this NCAA tournament. Ah, oh, that's the movie that we know. When it's winter, go home. They love to go home. Tennessee's now in my phony club. They should all get together and drink green tea. Tournament's going to have a oh! chance. Oh! Oh! That is a team I'm betting on right now. We are feeling this. You are feeling this at home. The excitement and the atmosphere only on Sports Grid. State game on Saturday against North Carolina that stood out most to me that they not only went on a five day heater like they did in 83 when Valvano took them another six games and they won the national mm-hmm. championship. The committee didn't sit there at the beginning of the week and think that Oregon, New Mexico, NC State, Duquesne, right. like they didn't sit there planning for all those teams to go and win. Pharrell Coast to Coast only on Sports Grid. I think JMU is going to knock off Wisconsin. I think JMU, with the way that they can score the ball and spread you out, Wisconsin struggles to defend. They're in the bottom third in defensive efficiency. Iowa State's not going to beat you with offense necessarily. They're just they're just not. Illinois will beat you with offense. I like Illinois. I don't love them enough to beat UConn. you got to guard at some point. Give me Connecticut to make the Final Four. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. Sports Grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game, live, all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart Team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game, live, prime time. Back-to-back, just utterly stinker quarters. In-game, live, overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now, you may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Come on. 
70 to 58 right now for TCU. Uh, 80, excuse me, 88 to 70 right now for uh, Utah State over TCU. I'm rattled. I need over 162 and a half points. I'm not going to get it. They're at 158 right now. I'm going to fall short here. Well, let's see. They just got another two. Man, I hate this game at the end. I need three points. There's 58 seconds left. I need three points. They just called a timeout. Yeah, well, now it's going to be the bench guys that come in. So yeah, yeah hopefully, are they going to are they going to sh- are they going to shoot right? And you know, I am. and I am basically, <laughs> I have one shot here. TCU have the ball; they're going to take a shot. Hopefully, they take a three, and I can get this. Or there's a foul somehow. But I need three points to escape here. <laughs> you said it, uh, Tony. The Grand Canyon. You thought they would pull away, as we Good argued call. about the point spread. Grand Canyon are now up fifty to thirty-five. In-game total is 127 and a half. We're on the lopes, but I need over 131. I'm hoping that St. Mary's can now go on a run and score some points and make a game of this. But I got a bunch of picks for tomorrow, but let's get uh, some of Tony's uh, best bets. Um, Washington State, Iowa State is six and a half. Oakland and NC State is six and a half as well. They're all six and a half. Tennessee lays six and a half to Texas uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Illinois are 10-point favorites against uh, Duquesne. And the Ducks get five against Creighton in the nightcap, Tony. What do you like? What catches your eye tomorrow? Well, a couple, I'll just give you a couple I like quite a bit. One of them you didn't mention, but Oakland from the Horizon League facing yeah, North just Carolina State mention, yeah. ACC. He actually oh, did, did mention it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I yes. apologize. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm old. I'm old. Sometimes I hear what I want to hear all the time. Uh, but here, the, the Wolf Pack seem to be white hot. They're getting a lot of love. You mentioned it, Gabe. A lot of people high on in, in NC State. Now, here, here's the deal. They got, they did get hot. They were playing pretty well, but their offense, what happened was their offense was outscoring what their defense was giving up because they've been, they've been inept defensively the entire year. And you don't just flip a switch and become good defensively. You can become hot offensively. You don't become good defensively, not like this. And not that I, and here's the deal in this game with Oakland, Oakland is Oakland, but they're, what they're doing is what they always do. They go into their conference tournament, they win as a top seed, and they're always a tough out, especially this group. Now, the problem with this group is they're not as good defensively as they've been in the past. North Carolina State, miserable defensively. And tomorrow, I think this over, I, I like the over tonight. Uh, the game ended up being 200 on 160, or 158 total. This total, 147, 146 and a half. This game, I think, gets to 170 or 180. I love the over one. Just call it 150. Uh, if you want, I'm, I'm, I feel safe with that. I'd even take the dog in this. I would take Oakland plus the points over the total and, and with a good chance, I think a, a better chance to sweep than not. I agree. And I just got screwed in the, the garbage time here at the end. They just kicked the ball out of bounds. I'm going to lose by uh, yeah. two points. God, that's frustrating, but it's going to happen. Yeah. Um all right, hey, back to positive, Mary's. You hit the other game late, though. Remember, they scored the late one in Wisconsin. So, uh, Peter pays Paul, basically, with the totals, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it is what positive it is. Dis- dis- disappointing, but uh, I'm glad Peter to grant. Tony. Um, yeah, exactly. For I don't care about Paul <laughs> or Peter. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell you. Not, they're, they're, this guy's not my problem. It's a blackjack term. <laughs> Peter pays Paul when you're playing. Yeah, good sports. for them. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who's paying Gabe? That's right. <laughs> uh, Clemson and Baylor, Tony. These are the Sunday uh, numbers that we have right now. Baylor laying four and a half to Clemson, who throttled New Mexico today. Baylor looked great, hit every shot that they, they took. Yeah. Totals 145. UConn, this number's already gone up. It was 14. It's 14 and a half now already. 14 and a half uh, UConn over Northwestern. 135 and a half is the total. Colorado plus three and a half against Marquette. That's a dog that's calling my name. Buffalo's mm-hmm. plus three and a half against Marquette. That's a game that should get after it as well as far as 147 is concerned. Hard not to like the over there. And San Diego State survived today. Didn't cover as we thought that would happen. We talked about it last night. Now they get Yale. San Diego State are laying five and a half to Yale. 128 and a half is the total. What's your um, advanced leans on Sunday, Tony? On, on Sunday, I, I agree with you. On Colorado, as long as Colorado, see, Colorado's pretty much, they're pretty versatile. They can, Tad Boyle's a good coach, like Tad Boyle's a lot. And, and he's able, he sets up 
to be able to play deliberate, play fast, play at tempo. He'll do what he thinks is going to be to his advantage. I like the overnight game as well as you do. Uh, I like Colorado. I liked them uh, in the first round. I liked the over a bunch, and uh, they both worked out, that game in particular. The other game I really like, Creighton. I know you mentioned a bunch about Creighton, but I like Creighton. I think Iowa State has a poor matchup against Washington State, but I'm really high on the way Iowa State was playing. Uh, they're playing their defense is really helping their offense, and they're not very good offensively, guys. They're they're just they're just challenged offensively. Um, if they're shooting well, they're tough to beat, though, aren't they? Best defensive team in the country, I think, better than Houston. The Ducks right now are smoking hot. And it's not yep. just some sort of – it's not a mirage with the Ducks. So we talked about it earlier uh, with Dante. Dante's uh, playing great, and, and Cousinard is killing it right now. Yep. So you've got a dominant big man. You've got a dominant score right now that's dropping 40-plus. And I tell you, St. Mary's just scored. But these teams, man, it's very Virginia-like. Yeah. When yeah. they get when they yeah. get down, <laughs> a kid took a three. It was an air ball. Right, like suddenly it's like, all right, you, we got to score like fast guys, and boom, air ball suddenly. They just got two, but they're really not built to come back. No. Grand Canyon pops no, you're a three. Right. You're right. And I got to tell you guys, out of all the crowds and stuff like that, this one's in Spokane. Um, with the Jesuits, as Cam was talking about earlier. So, yes. Um, yes. the Grand Canyon fans are going crazy. Like, there's a lot and, of them too. Uh, they're they're lit. They're stockholders. They're Gonzaga fans. They exactly. hate St. Mary's. That's their rival. They it's all Grand Canyon, baby. Right? That's the thing. Yeah, it was a bad place for St. Mary's to be put. You got it. It's like putting Michigan in Columbus <laughs> in the Columbus True. bracket. We'd Good have to call. make the tournament for that to happen, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of which, Michigan uh, are actually playing tomorrow. The women, yeah, Michigan are yeah. playing tomorrow. They're they're plus one. I'm going to take them. I hit today. I actually hit the the. I I went one and one today with the woman. I I ended up laying the 55 points with South Carolina, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. It's a lot of points. They beat Presbyterian by 70 earlier in the year, so it was it was one of those name name your score type of games. They ended up winning 90, 91 to 39, but it wasn't quite enough uh, for the 55. But LSU played Rice. LSU were like 27 and a half against Rice. And Rice, man, were giving them all that they could handle. I jumped in and I took Rice plus 15 and a half in game when it was like 39, 35 LSU mid third. And uh, LSU hung on to win the game, but they won by like six or seven. I Rice like actually Rice. did a good job hanging around. And uh, we cashed the ticket uh, with Rice. They were getting 27 and a half. And uh, they only lost by six or seven, actually. It was kind of a big surprise, though. Like, uh, they're obviously, like, the lowest seed. LSU were a one seed. All right, here comes St. Mary's here. 55-44. I need to get to 132 here. All right, I got some best bets. I got a couple of games that I already got up on the board here. If you guys have it up, uh, you can get it up on the screen for people watching on TV. I'm going to start off with the the college uh, card here. All kinds of fours and fives here. I'm going to start off with the North Carolina Tar Heels. I think they're being undervalued and underrated. I don't. It's all about matchups, and I don't think Michigan State match up well uh, with North Carolina. Um, Baycott's going to get it done inside, and uh, Davis and company will be able to score outscore Michigan State. I don't think they're going to win easily, but I think they win by six or seven type of deal. They'll pull away late, hit some free throws, win and cover the game. Uh, Izzo got his tournament win. The Ducks, I'm just not getting in front of this train right now. I got guys dropping 40. I got guys getting 18 rebounds and stuff on this team. You got Dana Altman uh, getting points. Not to mention, I just got to put my money where my mouth is in that I don't buy into Creighton. I don't think they're that good. I think they're overrated. I don't, I'm don't. i going to say they're not that good, but they're overrated. They're predicated on their three. They're a better team at home. Baylor are the real deal. I like Baylor to punch Clemson in the mouth on uh, Sunday, NHL hockey uh, tomorrow. I'm just going to throw this out there because they're smoking hot. The Vancouver Canucks are playing the Calgary Flames tomorrow, and I think the Vancouver two-step could be in order. The Vancouver Whitecaps are one of the best teams in the MLS to start the season. Uh, they haven't lost uh, 2-0-1 on the season. They're going home. They're playing Real Salt Lake uh, tomorrow night. Vancouver Whitecaps, minus 120 
if you're going to bet it, get in on it because it's going to continue to climb. It'll probably close at like 140 or something like that. So the Caps are a trendy team right now, but they're playing great soccer and they're going to beat uh, Salt Lake tomorrow in Vancouver. And we'll wrap it up uh, with an F1 pick. And I'll have more F1 picks um, on Twitter tomorrow, but I'll leave you with uh, Red Bull. I'm not thinking outside the box here. Max Verstappen <laughs> is a minus 500 favorite to win the race, but both Red Bulls to, to finish top three. So Verstappen and uh, Sergio Perez to finish top three is minus 150, and Perez is killing it as well. So they've been dominant. Minus 150 is a good price. Get that in because by the the, the race is at, um, tomorrow night. So by the time the race goes off, this prop is going to be like minus 200 or something like that. Cam, you got some best bets for us? Well, Gabe, a lot of our golfers are kind of lingering right now at the Valspar. And the lead is six under, so a lot of guys are in contention. I have Hadwin. You have a couple other guys. Bez out and out's right there. We talked about him. But I got a guy called Ryo Hizatune. He's a very, very talented Japanese player right now, and he's only three shots back and 70 to one. So watch out for him. I've watched him on international tours. Rio Hizatoni is my pick live at 70 to one to win the Valspar. And all our other guys are lingering. So let's have a great weekend, friends. All right, good stuff. A 70 to one long shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lakers right now have a, a six point lead on the Philadelphia 76ers. There's a minute and a half left in the game. Grand Canyon up a 10 spot uh, right now. In game total, 133 and a half. Seven and a half minutes left, Tony Finn, in this one. You think Grand Canyon going to hang on? Any concern here? Yeah, I do. No, not even a little bit. I mean, <laughs> not, not even a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Points for seven and a half right now. Yeah, no, I, I listen, once you told me, when you told me it was, uh, you had, you saw five and a half up there, I went immediately to my, my little, uh, my little bat phone right here. And um, I got, I got, I got, I doubled up on it. My, I got, had to put eight and a half, but I doubled up. So I'm eight and a half. Uh, you guys can As all, a betting man, listening. I'm willing to bet. Do you have like That's an old shirt. flip phone or something? You got a flip phone, Tone? It's a bat phone. That's what I call it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, <laughs> is it a flip phone? Like, does it, is it in one no, piece or it, do you it's, like, you it's actually, it? come on. What it is, it's actually a landline. So oh, it's a, it oh, it's looks a like a landline. Bad phone. Yeah. You have it's a landline. It's cracked. This guy's got a it's landline. Really <laughs> Tony, you get better every minute. With well, rotary, do you have to like spin the numbers or is it like, is it He's got buttons. Got a button. It's in mer- It's my. It's, I don't it's, know. I call it, it's my emergency. Is it phone. wood only, or only, plastic? Only my girlfriend. Only my wood? girlfriends and my mother have that number. So <laughs> he whittled it from wood. <laughs> this guy's like, well, come on. Yeah. I, I saw a video. I saw a video of a father and his kids, his smart, smart mouth, like millennial kids in their twenties. Yeah. They think uh, they know everything, and he pulled out a phone do. and he said, "Dial this number." They couldn't do it. <laughs> Amazing. I like they didn't know it. how I to like use it. the rotary phone. They were looking at it like they were talking to each other. What do you what do you do? I, well, I think you put your well, finger in and you move it. Like, like, like but they did, the did not know. They did wow. not know. Dude. For this NCAA tournament. Ah, that's the people that we know. When it's winter, go home. They love to go home. Tennessee's now in my phony club. They should all get together and drink green tea. Tournament's gonna have a chance! That is a team I'm betting on right now. We are feeling this. You are feeling this at home. The excitement and the atmosphere only on Sports Grid. The NC State game on Saturday against North Carolina that stood out most to me, that they not only went on a five-day heater like they did in 83 when Valvano took them another six games and they won the national mm-hmm. championship. The committee didn't sit there at the beginning of the week and think that Oregon, New Mexico, NC State, Duquesne, right. like, they didn't sit there planning for all those teams to go and win. Pharrell Coast to Coast, only on Sports Grid.
I think JMU is going to knock off Wisconsin. I think JMU, with the way that they can score the ball and spread you out, Wisconsin struggles to defend. They're in the bottom third in defensive efficiency. Iowa State's not going to beat you with offense necessarily. They're just they're just not. Illinois will beat you with offense. I like Illinois. I don't love them enough to beat UConn. you got to guard at some point. Give me Connecticut to make the Final Four. Betting above the rim only on Sports Grid. Sports Grid, your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka high. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Fifty nine, fifty two, Grand Canyon, five forty two left in the basketball game. So St. Mary's aren't going away. We're up to 111 right now. This game's going to take like, uh, there's 542 left, and you know this thing's going to take like 45 minutes or something uh, to be played. So, uh, Tony, final uh, yes. final thoughts, Mr. Finn? Final best bets? You want to share something on the way out here to make you make uh, fool people and making uh, them to believe you're smart? Let's go, Tony. Well, I just <laughs> give us I a winner. Reiterate. <laughs> I will reiterate. I really like the over. In that Oakland North Carolina State game, if I, I had time, to give I like my, the pick. Yeah, if I had my time play. to give you a whole lecture on that, I think you'd agree even more. Maybe you'd double down. But and secondly, I know you don't uh, listen. Baylor Colgate, or ba- Baylor Colgate was very a bad matchup. Colgate doesn't do anything every time they come to run. This Baylor team won't be quite as good as they were against Colgate. So I, I'm leaning towards the under. Uh, and I heard you talking about that game, which I find pretty interesting. But Clemson, Clemson can be had. Uh, I like Baylor in the under that game. Baylor. Under 144. Oh, oh. there's yep. a three ball for St. Mary, 61 55. This game is not over, ladies and gentlemen. No, this, this this next possession is massive for Grand Canyon. Like they've, you know, if they could, they got to stop. They got to stop the run. They just took a bad three. They got the rebound, though, and a foul. They're going to the free throw line. So it looks like our total should get there. Hopefully, we can end strong here and keep this thing rolling. Uh, follow me on Twitter over the weekend. I'll be posting some videos and some pics, and uh, let's crush it. As far as uh, the the morning action is concerned, first game up, Dayton and Arizona. Arizona are going to win, and they probably cover Tony, right? I think they're going to be up by seven or eight type thing and end up winning by 12 or something like that. Much I'm like, not in much love like with laying the nine and a half. I agree. Much like first round. I wasn't crazy about laying the 20. Because of the relationship between coaches, uh, but uh, I did, and I get a push. Gonzaga and Kansas. You know, I, I talked about it too. March Madness used to be great, the tournament and stuff. Now they stretch the games out so much. It's you know, it's almost done. The craziness right. is done. Gonzaga, Kansas, over the number. Other night, you're on your own. Later. Later.